What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, welcome back to Florida, to Yeehaw Junction, Florida. It's opening weekend of deer season 2023. First thing I wanna do is something a little bit different than I normally do. My last couple videos, I've showed you the boats packed up and us leaving places. Now I'm showing you the boat unpacked, my side-by-side, -side, and all the weapons that I brought for this weekend. Starting off, I got my 10 point. This particular model shoots about 430 feet a second. This is my FX M3 impact air rifle. Shoots these little pellets right here, like a 22 caliber. That thing is rank. Right over here, we got Mountain Dew. That's an important weapon. Then I've got my 25 WSSM. That stands for Winchester Super Short Mag. It's a Browning eight bolt. I've had it forever. Got my new bow. Got a Ruger 1022. I've got another 10 point right here, which is the 505 Nitro. That's their fastest crossbow 10 point makes. That thing is stupid. I'm pretty sure it will shoot right through that cabbage tree. This box right here is for Buck. He's actually in the house in the shade up in the room. Got my Gator coolers. Right over here though, I've got something new that I added to the family. This big old gas tank. A buddy of mine, Kevin Kimberger, welded it for me. It's about 75 gallons, put an electric pump on it. Because this lease is 30 minutes off the paved road and about 45 minutes from the nearest gas station. When we're out here, like we're gonna be this weekend for about three days, we go through a ton of gas on my side-by-side -side and buddy's buggy. So I'm able to bring 70 gallons to keep filling the side-by-side -side up, fill the buggy up. But then most importantly, when we leave, top everything back off because showing up with no gas is a pain in the butt. I'm gonna put all these weapons up because season doesn't start till tomorrow. Right now, I've gotta go fill a couple feeders, change some batteries in some of the trail cameras that we have. If you don't know what a trail camera is, it's a camera that you can put out in the woods on a tree and it has a motion sensor on it. When a deer or a hog or a turkey walks by, it takes their picture and sends it to your cell phone. That's scouting in 2023. I don't even need to go in the woods, the camera does it for me. All right, got the side-by-side -side full of gas. Crystal's on her way. She'll probably be here in a couple hours. Buddy and his friend will be out here tomorrow. Ralph and Joe, I think, will be here tonight. I gotta get to work, though. I gotta go over here to the feed room. I'm gonna show you guys where we store all of our feed. I'm gonna show you something really cool that's right here at our camp that you're not gonna expect, and then y'all are just gonna ride along with me for the whole day. I've noticed that a lot of my vlog videos, if you don't know what vlog is, vlog means I pretty much just film what, whatever me and the kids and Crystal are doing get tons of views and positive feedback so that's super easy for me to film and i appreciate y'all watching it that's what you're getting this weekend you're getting a whole weekend at hunt camp we're gonna cook hunt hog hunt deer hunt maybe armadillo hunt we're doing all kinds of fun stuff so this is our feed room here in Florida and pretty much anywhere else in the country. If you leave feed out, all kinds of critters will get to it. Look at the corn though, tons of it. Right here though, before I even get started hauling some corn, you can see we have some of the pellets mixed in with this corn. Watch what happens right over here at these troughs when I put this corn in it. Right over there is our generator that runs the entire camp. This place is completely off grid. That generator breaks, we're sleeping in the heat. So right here we have these two feed troughs and they're not for horses and they're not for cows. You're about to see what they're for. They will eat every ounce of this in no time. Y'all just look at the deer that come to these troughs. You can see right over my shoulder, camp's not but about 80 yards away. The deer here know what corn is and they love it. You can't give them enough. Super cool to be able to wake up, come outside, come out here, feed the deer, have a cup of coffee or cold Mountain Dew and watch a pile of deer. It's so beautiful. Turkeys too. So right here we have just regular corn, plain corn. Right here, I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I bought from Tractor Supply, apple corn, some other stuff. There's like five different flavors. Now the real work begins. We gotta ride all the way to the far side of the ranch. This place is 3,600 acres, it's big. All right, so this is the first stand I'm gonna work on. You can see the tree stand right here. I got some camo netting, but you can actually see through that. I got some burlap sack that I'm gonna put on it. You won't be able to see through it anymore. 
we built this pen around it so the hogs can't get in it but the feeder throws corn about two to three foot outside of the whole entire pen so the hogs can come around the outside and eat they just can't get in and bother the deer and i got the camera right over there on the tree and i get a pile of pictures we actually have a seven pointer that's coming in here right now that's bullying all the other deer he's getting taken out All right, I got the burlap sack up. You can still see it through it a little bit, but not near as good as you could before. It's really important when you're setting up a stand to have something in the background. Imagine if it was on that tree, you'd be able to see it a lot better. That's why I put it in that clump of trees. The big buck crosses over there, so it should be about a 25 yard shot. I just put a bunch of corn out there in the palmettas. If you guys don't believe in hunting corn, that's your choice. Here in Florida, it's completely legal. Now in most states, it's legal. This ranch is so big and so vast, if you don't hunt over corn, it's going to be super hard to kill one. Now a stand like this is mostly for the kids or somebody that wants to come and kill a hog. If we're hunting big bucks, like the big bucks, we're going to be out in the open to where we can see a long ways. Right now it's a rut. If you glass one, rattle, grunt, he should come right to you. Time for stand number two. I put this stand right here because of this big pond. They're not going to cross this. This is a nice finger that wraps around and it proofs into puddings. I got so many trail cam pictures right there, it's crazy. You can see right here where the hogs come out and waller in the mud to get rid of the ticks and the lice. So if you're wondering why I kept stepping up here and what I was doing with my hands, I was mixing this stuff up because there's like five different kinds. You got sunflowers, some pellets, some apple corn, a couple other things. I didn't even read the label. It just looked good and definitely smelled good. If you're wondering what brand this is, it's Homegrown Outdoor Supply. You can see how the little lip right there, deer have no problem eating it. They actually tilt their head sideways and eat it to where the rack's not bumping the metal. I just put my camera back. I had it right over there for the last two weeks, but believe it or not, I'm not getting any bucks on this camera. When I had it on here, I was getting a bunch eating out of this. So I'm thinking they just don't want to eat under that feeder. They want to eat out of that. That or they're not in this area anymore. I sure hope they are, because this was a good spot. I'm not going to use a ladder stand here. I'm going to put my climber probably in that tree right there. So I got about a 20 yard, 30 yard shot here in this opening. One key thing about sitting in Florida, if you want to sit for a while is shade cabbage hammocks have plenty of shade all right that was the last feeder i had to fill now all i got left to do is put some fresh batteries in cameras and maybe clear some shoot lanes i'm ready to eat though i am starving y'all leave a comment below and tell me if you like this style video where i just pretty much film exactly what we're doing i try to make it feel for you guys like you're here with me i know you all can't be here but I try to make it to where you feel like you are. I know if I was watching a video, that's what I would want. I hate that over the shoulder aspect where I don't feel like I'm a part of it at all. Leave a comment below. That'll be doing me a huge favor. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. That actually makes a big deal. I'm closing in on a million subscribers. That will be one heck of an accomplishment, I can promise you. That will make me happy. Now on the way back from where I was just at, I saw a group of turkeys and they just stepped off into the cabbage hammock in the palmettos about 10 yards. I stopped and filmed them. Listen to the vocalization from these birds you're about to see.
Tell me that wasn't insane. One of the birds was actually strutting and it's September. Like why that gobbler is strutting, I have no idea. Before I started filming, they actually gobbled one time. I saw probably 20 whitetails. I think I saw two groups of four or five. Then I saw one really, really big buck. I actually stopped, put a camera up, put some corn out in a new spot I'd never been before. Literally drove 20 yards and that buck standing there looking at me. An absolute giant. This is the most important thing when you're hunting in Florida. Second most important, a good weapon. Third most important is a good piece of property. Then the list goes on, a good backpack. Here's another thing that's crazy important too. Primos trigger sticks. I've got one for my gun and I've got one for my camera. I don't go anywhere without them. Those things save my bootay. All right, it's starting to get late. It's about 5.30. I'll see y'all in that double bull because you're coming along on this hunt. All right, just slipped up here in my stand. Check this double bull blind out. That joker's nice. Got the feeder. It's a big old marsh. There's a trail right around the corner that the deer and hogs should come out of or come down there. They could come from that way. They could come from this way. Hopefully we get a shot. Oh yeah, we're good to go. It's about 30 minutes before I think the game will come out. We're just gonna give it time. I'm gonna get my tripod set up. Fingers crossed. Twelve seconds later. You guys check that crap out. A huge storm just come from the north, which they never come from the north here in South Florida. This one did. You hear that thunder? I didn't see anything this evening. There's no way I can make it back to camp until this storm blows over because my frog dogs are in the truck right where they don't need to be. Crystal just texted me. She's out at the front gate. She can't get out of the truck because it's raining so hard. That's hunting though. Tomorrow's opening day of deer season. We're going to change gears, pick up the bow. Right now, I am starving though. Starving. Wow. <laughs> you could have brought me Uber Eats while I was out there. I was worried about you. You guys, this is Joe. He's one of the members on the lease. I could smell the food from the blind. Dude, lightning never really got close to me. I get down, I, or didn't get down, I got out of the blind, walked it side by side, come back, getting the pellet gun out side by side, and lightning struck like 40 yards from me. I'm sorry, striking here bad. I was about to text you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sometimes you just gotta stay in the blind. I know the camera's probably foggy. I can't even tell right now. Crystal's on her way in. She's been sitting out at the gate for a while, waiting on it to quit. I am starving. It's open in the morning, folks. Last night we ate just a quick dinner and went to bed. We don't normally get up this early. It's like 5.20 in the morning. So we needed some sleep. Loading up my bow, Crystal's already on the side by side. We're gonna haul Boogie. She'll film out of her stand with her cell phone sideways. I'll try to film with the GoPro, but we are not professionals when it comes to filming deer hunts. What we are professionals is filming around deer camp and showing y'all some B-roll, some beautiful animals. So I'm gonna grab me a Mountain Dew out of this cooler. We'll see you in the stands. Fingers crossed we kill a big one. I hope I kill a hog. Mission accomplished. Are you ready, babe? I'm ready. Can we get like a war cry, like a yeehaw? Open in the morning, you're awake. Nothing? No. Nothing? No. It's early. All right. We'll see y'all out there. We're loaded. We're ready. We got everything we need, I think. Probably not, though. We'll see when we get to the stand.
Just got down from my first sit of the year at our new lease. I definitely saw some interesting things. I'm gonna tell you more about it in a minute, but I'm gonna get out of here. I didn't realize this morning when I parked the side-by-side -side right here that there's this finger that these deer are traveling. I don't think it bothered them, but it could have bothered them. So if I hunt here again, I'm not gonna park here. I'm gonna be quiet and get out of here real quick. batting a thousand and that's crystal beachy because i got a text that she's drawn blood she shot something i know i've been watching the camera at the stand that she's sitting at and there has been so many deer and turkeys it's absolutely insane there was even two big hogs that came by there my stand this morning i started out with seeing turkeys Generally, that's the first thing you'll see when you're hunting over a feed station. They roost near it, fly down, eat. Probably the most interesting thing I saw though was this squirrel that sits up on the feeder and he eats corn, but he doesn't eat the whole piece of corn and then he drops it down and the turkey sit there and eat it. Because the bad thing for me this morning, I didn't check the battery in that feeder and it was dead, unbeknownst to me. So it didn't go off this morning. After the turkeys fed on through, I sat for about an hour and didn't see much of anything. I saw a couple does. They didn't come in. They stayed off about 80 yards. And then out of nowhere, a buck that I have some pictures of that I didn't know how big he was came directly underneath me. I looked down and was like, holy mackerel. He's probably an 18 inch wide South Florida 10 pointer. And I let him walk. I just don't think he's old enough. I call him wide boy. I grew up hunting public land. I would have died to kill a deer that big, but this isn't private land. We were able to get this lease and now we're gonna let some of these deer grow. We've got plenty though that are on the hit list. That buck this morning named Wide Boy got a free pass. You know it's hot out when all the cows are laying in the shade. Hey little, hey little baby. Turn around, go back to mama. No, 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 don't go that way. There you go. see anything this morning? Nothing. <laughs> you know what though? You remember when my bow fell? I got cow, I mean not my bow, but my bag. I got cow poop on everything. Little cow poop. That's probably why the deer didn't smell you this morning. You had cow poop cover scent. Nothing new I was here. Didn't see me or smell me. That dude's been drawing some blood lately. Look right under your stand. At the deer tracks. Listen, <laughs> the medium sized buck, the big buck, medium size, and a little buck, the medium sized buck hit my tree stand, shook me up here, <laughs> like walked right into it. What'd you shoot? A hog at like first light. You think you got him? Yeah, I think I got him. <laughs> We're gonna start calling you Robin Hood with this bow. <laughs> it's fun. Let's go look for it. All right, let's go look for it. Look at all that crap. That's cow poop. <laughs> all right, let's go find this Getting thing. Hot. Ready? Yeah. You've been getting spoiled lately. The camera's right over there. Um, he was probably like, you can't see me up there. Nothing saw me this morning. Nothing. He was right around in here when I shot. Did the air go through him? No. No. Watch out. 
turn my air too because it probably does fall. But two hogs came in here. I heard one fall and I only watched one exit. You think you made it over here? Pretty sure he's just right in here though. Cause I, I smelled him for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect shot. Quarter. For a long time and the deer kept smelling him. Go pull him out there just a little bit. That joker's bloated. We gotta get him cleaned. Let's go get the side by side. Well, we've only been hunting for about a week and a half to two weeks. And now Crystal's killed a big South Carolina buck, a really nice South Georgia buck with her bow, and a really nice, good eating hog here at our lease. She's on a roll. I saw squirrels. I did see one big buck, so I can't complain. I expected to see way more, but I also expected that feeder to go off. What do you think you saw, 20 deer? About 20 deer. Did you video hogs. anything? Oh yeah, I got tons of them. Let's just roll some of her clips right now. Dang, what smells so good in here. We're making breakfast. A little fried egg. You put cheese, I see you put cheese on yours. <laughs> we got some homemade gravy right here. It's fresh out of the bag. If you guys have never bought that kind of gravy mix, you should. Crystal fried us up some sausage. We're about to eat like kings. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. I didn't even eat my honey, uh, my honey bun. Did you eat yours? No, I didn't even take a honey bun. Right now. I went to buy Tom. There was so much going on. Hey, baby. Joe, how was your hunt this morning? Oh, it was beautiful. Lots of action. <laughs> we all had a lot of action this morning. Well, y'all had a lot more than me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you having the most. No, you had a bunch too. I had deer running all over me. Little but none of them had a squirrel feeding turkeys. I mean, that's. Like, you don't just get to see that every day. All right, she's fixing to show you how to make a beachy qualified egg sandwich. Only thing we don't have is tomato. Tomato? Yep, we don't have any. You would put tomatoes on that? Yes. Are you a big fan of tomatoes? This girl will eat them. 
Listen, we went into the Waffle House one day, a buddy of ours, we were in Louisiana, he brought her a tomato from Kentucky. She totes the tomato into the Waffle House, orders a BLT. Doesn't take the crappy tomato off that came with it, just added some of her own on it. Okay. And now, you slather the gravy on top of your sausage. This is gonna be a messy breakfast. One thing I've noticed about Joe is he is definitely a big growing boy because he <laughs> eats some food. He ate like three servings last night. And another piece of bread. What's going on over there? I've got too many weapons to choose from, but I need to shoot my bow. That's a good problem to have. Dad's on his way here right now. He's gonna shoot one of the crossbows. I'm gonna shoot my bow. I ain't shot it in a while. I think I can hit that bullseye. How far is that? Did me get my rangefinder? No, I'm gonna say 30. I'm gonna aim a little high with my 25 yard pin. I knew I was right. I was just a little bit to the right. <laughs> but I was perfect up and down. Buddy's awake. Buddy, you gonna shoot Good your morning. Bow? I gotta go get it. Where's it at? You wanna see the baddest bow hunting style weapon on the planet? It's a 10 point crossbow, the new Nitro 505. Check this thing out. A lot of people ask me, are they safe? I'm about mid cock right now. Let it go. If I wanna uncock it, go back the other way. But we wanna cock it all the way right now. Push my arrow up right here. The only thing I will say about a 10 point is when you put the arrow in it, you better make sure it's shoved all the way in. Let's see. Safety. Pop open my scope. 20 yards. <laughs> this thing will shoot through a piece of plywood and a deer simultaneously. That's so and fast. I'm telling you. So we got that, the pellet guns, the 22s. We're gonna shoot the pellet gun in the 22 tomorrow morning. Right now, look who just showed up. Mr. Arrington. You got that right. <laughs> Dad, you are late than ever. You wanna shoot this crossbow tonight? Uh, I mean, mine. That one shoots 505 feet a second. But, I mean, you can shoot an elephant if it walks by. Uh, yeah, just show me how to cock it. Uh, All right, we'll show you the whole process now. I just pop this thing out right here. Right. Put it in. The cool thing about a crossbow is I can take my son Luke, my dad, me or Crystal, and we can go elephant hunting with this thing. It's ethical and they don't play around. But this particular model and my other one, you can unload them Why do you without hold shooting them. Why just, do you hold these? I'm, I'm there just waiting it down. Okay. So I'm gonna cock it all the way. Okay. All right, it's cocked. Uh, hey Robert, how you doing? I'm good, good to see you. Y'all haven't even seen him in this video yet. You recognize this old dude right here? <laughs> That's Robert Spotswood. Hey Kill, how you doing? Good. It's 25 so yards. Deer you seen, you oh, you shoot a regular, re like you shoot one of them more releases, more. huh? He's over there yeah. giving her a hard time. She let another big buck walk. I'm gonna cock it. Oh, that'd be a dead deer. That's you have no excuse not to kill one tonight. I don't make excuses. Did you get a haircut? Did yes. you get a haircut? Yeah. Are y'all ready to hunt? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's about that time. And guess what? What? Uh, I think it's gonna storm again. Yeah. All right, Crystal slept in this morning. It's actually the next day. We ate breakfast yesterday, put the cameras down and just enjoyed some peace and quiet. This morning we got up, Crystal said, I think I'm gonna hold the bed down. She didn't hunt. I hunted though, Robert hunted and Mr. Randy hunted. Check out the buck I let walk. He's a big one. He slipped up on me. I didn't see him coming. I know the footage isn't great. It's really early in the morning and you're looking at GoPro footage that I zoomed in on my editing software, but that's a big old big one. I let him live to fight another day. Now, if I catch him somewhere about mid season slipping through the woods, he might get it. 
But as of right now, he got a free pass. So Crystal's gonna hunt tonight. My dad, Mr. Randy, who's inside, and Buddy, we're all gonna hunt. We have got bloodshed. Plenty of bloodshed. Plenty of bloodshed. <laughs> Y'all, Crystal Beachy killed what looks like a 400 pound black bear. Let's hope. Or she shot it. We don't know if she got a good, clean path through. Where's my dad? Up here on the porch. Dad, tell me how you roll up into camp at four and at six shoot a big buck. You can't see him because he's fixing to he's fixing lucky. to walk out of the light. Lucky or good? I got lucky today. Well, I went to the stand y'all told me to go to. I didn't have a clue. He just listened. That's what happened. You ready yeah. to go find him? Yeah, he, I, he's only about ten yards from me. Hey, all that matters is you shot him. Down, I might have shot just a tad hair back of him. That three blade. Uh, mega meat wrecked him. I went all the way. I mean, it slammed in the ground that deep. That's why there's no blood on the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> it went through so fast. Yeah, that 505 nitro <laughs> shooting 500 feet a second. And Did got, you look at your got, arrow? And it got yeah. Is it covered in blood? Yeah. It, it happens when he, all right. when he shot the run. That it's going to be dark there. from here on out. We got some good headlights. We're going to take my little dog, Redneck, which is pretty good at trailing blood, and go find dad's deer. And then go find Crystal's hog because she shot hers right at dark. What? That, that I feed her six, 60 yards. Yeah. As soon as you got down to look for your arrow, the big buck walked up, or not the big buck, but a big buck walked up to the feeder. Yeah, well, that's all right. I, I'll... We'll take you it. shot the buck that we wanted you to oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, no doubt. That's him. <laughs> Wait, did he look big walking down the road? Well, I seen him from about a half mile just. Taking his time getting to me. He texted Gabe and said, big buck. And then never touched his and phone that again. Was it. Who said that? You, you. did. Yeah. <laughs> Redneck, you ready to go trail this deer? Come on, Redneck. It's time to put you to work. So we shot him out of that pine tree right there. He was dead sticking up. Dang, you shot him pretty much straight down. And he went out here? Yeah, don't go any further. And he went straight down there. There's his arrow right there. That's the tree. It seemed like he, I heard him go that way, but I'm. Well, you don't know which way he went? Well, I know he went that way. There's blood here. There's blood here. Oh, okay. Redneck. Come here. I think if I can find it. There's blood right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's blood right there. Well, he light. I need to just real gently walk down the edge. See, it's splashed right here. Huh? I don't see any. He could have jumped anywhere though. Here, he jumped right here. Come on, Redneck. Come on, Dad, let's trail him. Yeah, I ain't seeing no blood right there. I haven't seen any in here, so we need to really take our time. Good boy, Redneck. He's bleeding good in here. Where's he at, Redneck? Where's he at, Redneck? Oh, yeah, he's bleeding good. No, it was back there. I'm trying to let him work as fast as he wants to work. Where's he at, Redneck? <laughs> tell me, tell me, Redneck ain't a blood trailing dog, y'all. Hey, right here, brother. Babe. Good job, Redneck. Redneck, you deserve that cookie for Good dinner job, tonight. Redneck. Yeah, you got him all the way. Came out the dark. Right. Look at that deer. So y'all, Redneck is deep. in ankle deep water, but it's Dang chest deep on him. Deer. Holy hey, crap. you guys, we have been trailing this deer for an hour, patiently following Redneck, and he's just a little Jack Russell, and he's just zigzagging and zigzagging, and I'd find a speck of blood and a speck of blood. <laughs> like most deer shot in the guts, he's out here in the water. Redneck! I am absolutely shocked. I'm telling you, he trailed Sarah Arrington's deer for hours one I'm night. I'm so proud of you. Buddy. Look at this deer. I can't wait for my dad to pull up. Big old Florida let's pull stud. Over, let's pull them over there to the fence so they can come to us. Babe, how about Redneck now? 
I am so impressed. He's going with us on every hunting trip now. That's what I'm saying. You want to come to Colorado, buddy? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see Dad's Just face. To that fence right there. Here comes my dad. He doesn't know we have the deer. Pull over there. Come here and see if you can see this blood or not. I'm tired. I'm tired too, JP. Where's Crystal? Come on, it's right here. You can use my light. I got a light, you can use my light. Damn. <laughs> there he is. He came this far? Oh, he was out in that part. You better let Redneck sleep with you tonight because that dog trailed Redneck him. Redneck trailed him. Y'all, dad, dad was getting depressed. Well, he, I wasn't depressed. I was going to look all day tomorrow. <coughs> you shot him perfect. Yeah, I know. I shot his him. His guts good. clogged his hole, his exit wound. He wasn't bleeding. Yeah. Redneck trailed that joker like a hound dog. Hmm. Look at that palmated right there. Yeah. He is a cool deer. Hey, where's Buddy at? They're walking back. Redneck should be your favorite green kid right now. Redneck, he's always been one of my favorites. Jake, Luke, and Art. Oh, look at that. <coughs> get him in that yeah. shot. Y'all ever swallowed a bug? <laughs> a bug? You're struggling. I swallowed one a minute ago. It's about to choke me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Couldn't be happier. That's all she wrote. Good job, Walt. I'm proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> we found him out there, way over there, 100 yards. We got in the thick stuff or just oh, the old there. buck in the back of the side by side. All right, we're in hot pursuit for Beachy's hog, filming with the cell phone. Pretty good amount of blood. Oh, oh, he went in the jungle. Yep. Lord have mercy. He's bleeding good though. Bless you. Oh, no. What if he's still alive? That's not gonna be good. We ain't got no weapons. We don't have anything. Oh man. Hopefully he didn't go very far. <laughs> I'm about to go on an adventure. See the blood right there? No, Babe, if he comes, I'm just gonna push you and jump. I don't know what to do. You gotta get on your hands and knees. Stop. We're gonna have to cut the clip and get on our bellies. There's blood right there. What just happened? That was not good. That was so bad. I'm freaking out right now. We're down on our hands and knees, belly crawling, following this blood trail. All of a sudden, Jay goes, there he is, uh, but he's still alive. <laughs> and all we hear is, <sighs> and we have no weapons. That was bad. You guys, that's a jungle I'll, right in there. I'll, I'll look up and Gabe <laughs> jumped up and latched onto a tree. That was bad. So we know he's right in there about 30 yards, but he's not dead yet. We marked it on Onyx and we're going to come back in the daylight. That was scary. That's the first time I've heard you say you were scared. No, the shark in Panama, you were scared too. <laughs> that was scary. Cause you can't see anything. It was dark. And all we hear is just that breathing. He could attack us at any second. Yeah. And he wasn't, he didn't run off either. He was standing there. Ugh. That was bad. Now where the heck are we? I know where we're at. Let's go. What a night fellers. What a night. We almost got hog caught by Beachy's grizzly bear. <laughs> Slept in this morning, cleaning up camp, had to go. I left my tree stand in a tree last night, thinking I was gonna hunt this morning. There was no way I was gonna hunt, I was too tired. Got up this morning doing odds and ends, and I just realized I'm late to get the kids. Here, listen girl, don't bite me. Pork and beans. Pork and beans. Can you make it in there? They're like, just dump the plate. That's old eggs, mango peelings, corn. Every time we, we stay for the weekend, we save all the scraps and feed, them. feed your hogs. Oh, they love it. This is Joel, he runs the ranch. Hey. Y'all have heard me talk about him. There he is in, in his true form. I got to go. Babe, give me a hug. Sorry I make you clean up camp all by yourself. Sorry. I saw her. Be careful. Well, I'm not exactly sure how I made it, but
but from camp to the boys mom's house I picked Jake up and got all the way to the boys school look I got my boat behind me in car line I don't think anybody's ever pulled a boat through car line at this elementary school before and we've made it here to get Luke in time one thing I'm going to do in the near future is order some new better cameras so when we're hunting so we can show you guys more of what goes on in the tree stand not that I've been lacking hunting is one of my ultimate passions and I like to sit in that tree in peace and quiet without any cameras but I'm going to start doing it for you guys Lukey Duke bye have a good rest of your day bye you guys leave a comment below if your kids ever hit a point if you have kids where you're not allowed to call them by their nickname anymore so this is the first year Luke's went to this school and when we dropped him off the first day he told me and Jake he goes you're not allowed to call me Wookie or Blue Lukey or Lukey or nothing it has to be Luke we're not allowed to call him his nicknames anymore did yes, you have a good you day Luke? Hear what happened today? did you have a good day? yes you want to hear what happened today? what happened? my teacher put a hand sanitizer on my hand and it it like squirted out like really fast it got all of my eyes. Did it burn? Uh-huh. Well, at least you got clean eyes now. That's it though, folks. You saw a little glimpse of what we do over the weekend. It was sort of hectic, opening weekend. We never did. I know a bunch of y'all are actually wondering right now. We never found Crystal's hog. We went back this morning and looked for it. I can't believe I barely crawled right up on that hog like that. It could have gotten dangerous real quick. A lot of people are gonna say, well, why didn't you carry a pistol? It was so thick. What we were crawling in was so thick you couldn't carry a pistol. I haven't even told the boys the story yet. That's it though. We're headed to Colorado next. We'll be in Yampa, Colorado all next week. For this video, it's over though. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. Like this one always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.